Saleh Mukwanga, a father of three from Buwenge in Kinja district, finds himself in troubling situation. Twice, he has been arrested under mysterious circumstances. Mukwanga's troubles have left him unable to find work and provide for his wife and three children. His difficulties began around 2020 when he lost his national identity card. It was around the time of the COVID-19 pandemic when I lost my ID. Planning to travel to Dubai for a job opportunity, Mukwanga reported the loss of his ID to the police and the National Identification and Registration Authority, NIRA. His intention was to get a new ID to process his passport, but this action would later prove crucial when he faced a case against him two years later. Mukwanga left for Dubai in February 2021. I arrived in Dubai and started to hustle. I spent a year and ten months. Then I returned in November 2022. Upon his return, Mukwanga learned that during his time abroad, someone had used his lost ID to register a company. He had sensed something was wrong before his arrest, feeling that he was being monitored. I received calls from random people who asked for car spare parts like lights and a car mount. They would also ask about my work area, for which I would tell them that sometimes I was in Chiseka or in the village. Even though I hadn't resumed work, I did not realize that I was being tracked. In January 2023, on his way back to Dubai, Mukwanga was intercepted by police at Entebbe Airport. During his arrest, he was informed that he was accused of defrauding people of up to 400 million shillings, a claim he denied. Police records also indicate that Mukwanga had three registered SIM cards, which he refuted. They told me that I had an MTN and Airtel merchant codes. He also told me that I owed three telephone numbers and they robbed people certain amounts of money. Mukwanga was detained for a day at the Central Police Station in Kampala, then transferred to Jinja Road Police Station for three days before being released on bond. He was required to report to the police weekly. I have for a whole year been reporting to Chibuli CID. During his interrogation, Mukwanga admitted that he lost his ID. He later learned that the ID was used to register a company called Henam Solutions SMC Limited, obtain a tax identification number TIN, register phone numbers, and open a bank account. Their investigations revealed that an account was also opened with Stanbic Bank using a cropped photograph from my ID that was used as a passport size photograph. They added to the photograph a necktie. The people behind this company defrauded several individuals in the Busoga sub-region of at least 400 million shillings. When they went to Airtel, they established that the photograph used for the registration of the SIM cards was different, though in the names of Mokwanga Saleh. These are the numbers that they used to rob people. In the second part of this story, we speak to one of the scams victims, Hamza Senyonga, who reported the case after losing 10 million shillings. He shares how they ended up being scammed. I called the man at a time when I had 10.2 million shillings. We talked about the application, which he had told me would plow profits. He assured me that I would within five days get back 15 million. Indeed, I would see people receiving money during the period. Jackson Onyango, NTV.